and he vomited, and I've never seen this before in 10 years of emergency medical work. And when I got to him, he was actively vomiting in his little trash can. I mean, and when I say, I mean, pure blood, just blood, right? Just He had an interesting past medical history. He broke his back when he was in his mid-20s. He's been on painkillers for the last 30 years, right? And so when I got to him, he had, he had end-stage liver failure, liver cirrhosis. The blood can't get through his liver, so it's backing up and it's causing massive esophageal varices, which is like these massive dilated veins around the esophagus. It just becomes very weak. They were rupturing. We walked into his little mobile home and his wife is there, and his wife is all up on his pain meds. She's clearly nodding out when we're there and he's like vomiting blood. And he's also below the knee amputee on of his legs, and he has an extensive medical history, 55 years old. He's vomiting blood, his poor mom is there trying to get him ready. And this is a hospice call, so we're taking him to a hospice unit to die. So thank God he has like a DNR. It's a do not resuscitate order. So we don't have to like resuscitate. I mean, and he's like on his way out, you know, I mean, he's, he's losing huge amounts of blood. You know, that's a, that's a big fraction of, of your blood supply. And he has a liver failure from drinking and he's just not doing well. And we have to transport him 20 miles away to this hospice house to die. Yeah, that's where he's gonna, it's a comfort care facility, so they'll just essentially give him a lot of morphine. We get him on a stretcher and then get him in the ambulance. And his pressure is like not doing too bad, you know, for the amount of blood he's losing. He vomits what I, I mean, we, we have the vomit bags that you can measure. It was crazy because the last little bit of the hull and we got him out of the ambulance, dude, he filled up this entire liter bag uh, with blood, with just blood, just blood, no, no, stomach contents at all. He filled up that bag and it was like a sack full of blood. Like it was like two units of blood. Like when you go donate blood, it was like two of those. But he was like, kill me, let me die. Like he was ready. I wonder how long he lived. Probably he died within three, three days, I'm guessing. Yeah. It was a lot of blood. It was a lot of blood. So that was interesting. I never seen anyone throw up so much blood.